gently, bently, bend the knees. Thirteen. Fourteen. Oh. Hundred and one. Hundred and two. Oh, hi, everyone. I didn't see you there. Nice try, Dad. Why is everyone acting so strangely today? Everyone's training to compete in this afternoon's fun run. Fun run? Ha! I don't see what's so fun about running. It's loads of fun and a great way to stay fit and healthy. The competitors will be running across the fitness trail we've been building this week. That does look like fun. I wish we could join in. In a way, we will be, Scoop, by finishing the final obstacles in the fitness trail. A rope ladder, climbing frame and a swing bridge. Yeah! Hi, Team Bob! Is everyone excited about finishing the fitness trail? Oh, yes! yes. That's the sporting spirit! Wow! Sky Sampson, Spring City's most famous athlete and world champion! Sky will be organising the fun run. Tell me, Sky, how did you manage to break world records in running, swimming and the egg and spoon race? Never give up! Or forget your fruits and veggies. I'm a big fan of broccoli for breakfast. Broccoli for breakfast? Yuck! Bob, can we have broccoli tomorrow? <laughs> no, Scoop. You're a machine, remember? You have a diet of diesel. Oh, that's right. All right, everyone. We've got a fitness trail to finish. <laughs> you heard him. Let's go, Team Bob! <laughs> Timing frame complete. Oh, super job, Team Bob. Oh. <laughs> no time to rest. As a special treat, I've signed you all up for the fun run. Who's excited? Me. 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 <laughs> Not me. Super. Then let's get training. First up, star jumps. Go, Team Go. Leo. Here's so. I'm exercising my thumb. How am I doing, Sky? Careful, Scoop. Sorry. I'm just excited about competing in the fun run. Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, Scoop, but you're not competing. Oh, but I want to break a world record, just like Sky. I'm sorry, Scoop, but the fitness trail is only built for people. Speaking of which, could you two give me a hand with the swing bridge, please? We'll need to knot the ropes together. It's not fair. Everyone else gets to have fun in the fun run. Unless... Uh-oh. Oh, I've just had a brilliant idea! Yay! Whenever you see that, something not brilliant happens. Not this time, Lofty. Guess what? We're going to have our own super fun spotting event! Diggers, dumpers and cranes, welcome to... The Muscle Machine Games! Yay! Yes! He's tall, strong and blue. He'll lift you up and carry you away. Please welcome... Lofty! Go, Lofty! Give it up for the big red dumper with the big red heart. Ma! That's me. Hoorah! And finally, he's the digger with the athlete's bigger. Go! <laughs> Go, Scoop! Thanks, Dizzy, and good luck, everyone. Especially me. As it's the first Muscle Machine Games ever, every event will score a world record. Yes! I can't fail. Round one, weightlifting. Ready, steady, lift! <laughs> I've never won anything before. Well done, Lofty. That's a new world record. 
cold. How did you do it? Well, simple, really. Powered by hydraulics, I extended my arm upwards to achieve a superior height to my competitors. Round two. <laughs> Discus throw! Furthest throw sets the record. I could do this with my eyes closed. Maybe you should have tried it with your eyes open. Ah! Oh. I'm red all over. You're always red, Muck. Well done, Muck. Uh, machines, I need you all back on site, please. Be there in a moment, Bob. Just after I set a record. Final round. Race to the far tree. Gentlemen, start your engines. Ready? Steady? Done this time. I'm sorry, Bob. I just wanted to be like Sky and break a record. Well, you definitely broke something. Oh dear, the fun run starts in an hour, and we haven't even finished the rope bridge. Ew. Uh oh. Oh no. The game's not over just yet, team. We can fix this if we draw on our best abilities. Lofty, I'll need your amazing weightlifting strength. Sure thing, Bob. And Muck. I'll need your powerful bucket. No sweat. What's wrong, Scoop? Oh, I messed up everything for Sky's fun run. And I wasn't very good at sports either. And Scoop? Yes, Bob? You're an all-round all-star. I'll need your speed, ability and digging power. Yes, Bob? Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. The most important thing about a fun run is to have fun! And eat your broccoli. Go! Yay! <laughs> Roadcraft, if I do say so myself. Congratulations, everyone! And as for you, young Scoop. Oh, wow! What's this for? You set a new record! The tie tops over a street lamp! You mean. I'm a world champion! Awesome! Three cheers for Scoop! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Yes, awesome, all right. How am I going to get that tire off there? Okay, get ready and. 
Ah, Mayor Madison, we're all done. Your doors are no longer squeaking. We used a couple of drops of oil on the hinges and now you are squeak free. <laughs> Bob, we're trying to take a picture. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry, everyone. Let's try again. Remember that this is going in the town hall newspaper. So give a big cheese. Cheese. Oh, cheese. Why is Mila going in the newspaper? She's appearing on the children's TV game show, Wizza Quiz. If she wins, she'll win a trophy for Spring City. That's brilliant. Time to go to the TV studios. Now give me some Spring City Rocket Slur. Go, Mila! <laughs> yeah! Go, Mila! Go, Mila! Ooh, 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 ooh! <clears throat> What's wrong? We wanted to be in the audience and cheer on Mila together, but we couldn't get tickets. I've just had a super-duper idea. Bob can build an outdoor movie screen at the sports stadium. Then everyone in Spring City can watch, all of us together, under the stars. Oh, but, but Mayor Madison, the Wizard Quiz is tonight. Don't worry, Leo. I'm on it. Hey, guys, it's Bob. Hi, team. There's a build to be done at the sports stadium and the whole of Spring City is counting on us. OK, team, you heard Bob. Let's get to work. Just hold it steady, Lofty. There. Done. One square frame to hold the giant TV. So what's next, Leo? Hmm. Let me check. Yoo-hoo, Lofty! You'll never guess what happened. I had a super-duper idea for me and the Spring City Rockets to make banners. But now we need your help to hang them. Oh, are you both left to? Marvellous! Come this way. Right, Lofty. Next, I need your help to attach one, two supports to the back of the frame. Uh, Lofty? Where'd he go? OK. I guess I can start building the support frames by myself, then. Wow! Look at the size of it! How big is the remote control? Actually, this TV doesn't have a remote control. My tablet will pick up a signal and send it to the TV. And then the TV show appears on screen. Wow! Here, let me show you. Have you forgotten your password again? Everyone knows that. It's, it's builder, builder number, number one. one! Oh, Bob. There. All the banners are hung. High five to that! Uh, oh, uh, yes, um, hi, uh, five. Thanks, Mayor Madison. You are so cool for thinking to make banners. Cool? Me? Well, then, how about another super-duper idea? We could have a popcorn machine. I'll call Chef Tatty and see if you could collect it, Lofty. right -home. Can you help us, Lofty? Well, uh... Leo looks OK, so yes, of course I can help you. Go, Lofty! Woohoo! Ah, oh, Lofty, thank goodness. I'm having trouble holding the frame steady. Oh, I'll just have to finish the job by myself. I've not done too badly so far. The TV should be working any moment now. The tablet's picked up the signal, but the picture's really fuzzy. How about now? Thank you, Dash Lightning. You've Guys? From the green slime 
monster. It was nothing. What do I always say? With a boom, zoom, lightning strikes twice. Well, I guess the TV's working. Go, Lofty! Yeah! Yeah! Anything else I can help with? How about a drinks machine? One of those slushy things. I'm on it. Back to Chef Tashies. Oh, well done, Leo. You finished the support frame all by yourself. Now all we need is the TV. Sorry, guys, but the TV needs to be switched off now. Oh, oh. Uh, Wendy, we need to take the TV to the stadium. Wendy? Bob, where have you been? We need to take the TV to the stadium. Now we have everything to cheer on, Mila. Thanks, Lofty. Ooh, that will be two ton with the giant TV screen. Lovely, get ready to lift the screen. And I'll make sure that Mayor Madison and the Spring City Rockets keep back. Okay, Lofty. Lift it up! Hold it, Lofty! Two-ton, move out. No problem, Bob. Lofty, really carefully, please, move the screen towards the frame. There. And finally, we can take away the scaffold towers. That all looks nice and sturdy. Quick! The screen is falling! The supports are falling too! Don't worry, I'll help! Quick, everyone! Let's move to a safe distance! Now the frame is breaking! Leo, what happened? Why did the supports come away from the frame and why did the frame break? Uh, it wasn't Leo's fault, it was mine. I left Leo without any help because I wanted to help the Spring City Rockets instead. I am so sorry. But it is my fault. I should have never attempted such a big job by myself. Sorry, Bob. Oh, and I'm sorry too. I kept asking for Lofty's help. Wow, that's a lot of sorries and a lot to fix. So what are we going to do? People will be arriving soon to watch Mila. Wendy, call Muck and Scoop. We're going to need their help. Spring City Rockets and Mayor Madison, I need you to find something for people to sit on. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we can! And this time, Leo, I will make sure I'm there to help you. Trophy for Spring City, here is your final question. What should you put on door hinges to stop them squeaking? Is it A, water, B, oil, or C, salt? I know. Bob used this on Mayor Madison's squeaky doors. The answer is B, oil. Correct! Yay! All thanks to my squeaky dolls. Uh, Bob, do you think we could keep the TV in the yard? 
And whose idea was this? Wendy's. <gasps> This new state-of-the-art penguin pool is going to be amazing. I think the penguins are really going to enjoy their new home. What penguins? I don't see any penguins. Where are the penguins? Be patient, Lofty. They're on their way. <laughs> They'll be here soon. Don't worry. Two tons bringing them over now. I hope everything will be ready when they get here. Of course it will be ready. Not much to do now. And what about Scoop and Leo? They won't want to miss seeing the penguins arrive. They'll be back shortly, Muck. Just as soon as they finish the mayor's new fountain and pond at the town hall. So come on, team. Let's see if we can finish this job too. Most important visit, Mr. Bentley. Absolutely. And nothing can go wrong. And nothing will go wrong, Your Worship. That's what you always say, Mr. Bentley. But Mayor Snipe can be very difficult to please. We must make sure he enjoys his visit to Spring City. Don't worry about that. I've drawn up a list of all the exciting places around town where we can take him. There's no way he will fail to enjoy himself. I do hope you're right. What? With Mayor Snipe. He's here? Yes. Already? Yes, please be quick. I'll trust him to arrive early. Come on. <laughs> well, it looks like those two have a busy day ahead of them. <laughs> there. Well done, Leo. It's going to be great. Ready to start filling the pool. Where do you want this last rock, Bob? Uh. Over there, I think, Lofty. I can't wait for the pool to be finished and see those penguins splashing around in it. Not so fast, Lofty. <laughs> Steady now. Ooh, watch out! Oh, no. I'm sorry, Bob. I was just so excited about seeing the penguins. Uh, there's a nasty crack in the glass. We can't fill the pool with water till we get that fixed. It'll need a new window. I just hope we have time before the penguins arrive. Good afternoon, Miss Wendy. Bob. Where would you like these penguins? <laughs> Good question, Teuton. I'm afraid the pool isn't quite ready. Oh, dear. They're getting rather noisy back there. They shouldn't really stay in that crate much longer, Bob. Wow! What happened here? It was an accident. I'm so sorry. It's OK, Lofty, but we're going to need to find somewhere to keep those penguins happy whilst we're mending the glass. Um, Bob? What is it, Lofty? I think I know where we can keep the penguins. Somewhere they'll be safe and happy. What about the new fountain at the town hall? The one Leo's been working on? Oh, yes, it's perfect. Mayor Madsen is out all day. And you'll be finished here before she gets back. What do you say, Bob? I say, well done, Lofty. Let's go for it. Follow us, Tutan. Don't worry, penguins. You'll soon be splashing about without a care in the world. Right then, Wendy, Lofty, let's get fixing. Yes, Fixham Castle is a very fine example of medieval architecture. It's our oldest and most historic monument. Uh, do you have any ancient buildings in Riverdale, Mayor Snipe? Ancient buildings? I can't bear ancient buildings. A crumbling pile of old stones, if you ask me. Oh, well, yes, you have a point there, I suppose. Uh, but Spring City has some fabulous new buildings. And that's exactly what we want to show you next. Let's get the penguins out of that crate and into the water. There, 
There you go, penguins. <laughs> Delightful creatures. They're not going to fly away, are they? Oh, no. They haven't got wings, you know. Those are flippers. They can swim, but they can't fly. They can hop by the look of it. They seem to like it, though. <laughs> yeah. And as soon as their new pool is ready, we'll take them back to the zoo. Perfect. As you can see, this magnificent stadium is Spring City's pride and joy. And home to some of our greatest sporting triumphs. I'm not very keen on sport. Lots of running about, jumping, kicking balls. Nah, not my thing. OK. Right, you don't like sport. But I think we have something you definitely will like. We do, don't we, Mr. Ventler? Yes, yes. Uh, this one is sure to be a winner. Here's the new window, Bob. Excellent. OK, everyone, we need to get those penguins into their new pool as soon as possible. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. to have missed one, Scoop. Oh, not that way. No! Stay away from the drive! Stop! Oh, this lucky man Madison isn't around to see all this. It's OK, Scoop. She won't be back for hours. As soon as that window's fixed, we can take these penguins back to the zoo. Whoa! Not over there. Hey, get back in that pond. Hey, you! Oh! Welcome to the Flying Saucepan. The finest food with the best views in Spring City. Can I get you a wee bite to eat? This building, it, it appears to be moving. Exactly. It's a revolving restaurant. A magnificent miracle of mechanical engineering. Fancy a plate of haggis and neeps. Ooh, I feel sick. Ooh. Oh, dear. Maybe we'd better cut short the visit and get you back to the town hall. Oh. This visit has been a complete disaster. I thought you said nothing could go wrong. Maybe he would like an ice cream. Oh, I wish that penguin pool was ready. This reminds me of the time in Patagonia. What's happening? What's going on here? Who is responsible for this disgraceful, this outrageous circus? I am so sorry for this fiasco, Mayor Snipe. Rock uppers? Uh, excuse me. Rock up for penguins! Aren't they extraordinary? So lively and full of fun. What? Yes, very nice. How did you know that I love penguins? Um, uh, well, I... Um... And you laid it on this wonderful treat just for me. Thank you so much. We like to keep our visitors happy. Uh-oh. Hi, Bob. Turns out Mayor Madison's special guest really likes penguins. Oh, right. And that's why Mayor Madison has arranged for you to come back to the zoo and officially open our new penguin pool. Exactly. I'd always intended it to be the highlight of your visit. Oh, yes, please. I'd love that. Marvellous. Well, come on, everybody. What are we waiting for? I now declare Spring City's new Antarctic penguin experience well and truly open. This has been the best visit ever. Thank you so much, Mayor Madison. And thank you, Mr Bentley. Oh, well, that's... Uh... And thank you, Bob. 
Once again, you've saved the day. Mayor Townley is visiting next week. Really? I hear he likes elephants. What? I don't think Roland wants anyone playing with his toys, Leo. Welcome to my new warehouse, Bob. What do you think? Wow. <laughs> it's huge, Roland. Can you run this place all on your own? No. That's why I need you to install this robotic picking system and all its robot picker arms. Wow, robot picker arms! What will they do? They'll do all the work. They'll be able to grab a gift from here and take it all the way over to here. The gift will then move along to here, get wrapped up and then put through this chute where it will drop into a delivery van outside. And you need this picking system up and running by tomorrow evening? Yeah, by 8 o'clock. Otherwise, my customers won't get their presents in time for Christmas. No problem, Roland. We'll get started. And I'll get going. Got a long list of orders to go through. Look! I'm a robot picker arm! <laughs> Actually, there's a bit more to robot arms than a few jerky moves. I know because I built one at school. Was it a robot arm made from old toilet rolls and lots of glitter, Leo? No, Scoop. It was a real one. With Wendy off on her Christmas holidays, I'll need all your expert help, Leo. Just look at how big the instruction manual is. I don't need to look at that, Bob. I know all about robotics. Great. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. All together, we can. Most of the picking system is in place, Roland. Just a couple more robot picker arms to install. Great work! Let's test it out. Right, say I've got an order from someone in Riverdale for a football. So, the ball is in position five, shelf two, row C. Onto the conveyor belt, which takes it into the wrapper. And out to the delivery van. Brilliant! Now that is impressive. Or some. It's controlled by this tablet. Provided all the toys are in their correct places on the shelves, it all runs a like a clockwork. And I make that lunch. Excuse me, fellas, I have a meeting with a nice cheese sandwich. Right, Scoop, Muck, I need you to clear up all this packaging. OK, Bob. Lofty, when Leo and I are in position, can you lift up the next picker arm? Sure thing, Bob. Hey, look, Scoop. I'm a robot picker arm. <laughs> Pretty good, Muck, but I think I'm better. No, you're not. Look at me! There we go. Just one more picker arm to go. I'll go down and load up another pallet for Lofty. Thanks, Leo. OK, Lofty, settle it once and for all. Which of me and Muck does the best robot picker impression? <laughs> Um, I can't tell. What's going on? We're pretending to be robot picker arms. Will you switch them on so we can see them again? No way. I need to get Lofty loaded up. Are you sure you know about robotics? Yes, I do. I could easily work these things. <laughs> Go on, then. OK, I'll show you. One, two, uh, three. Look, it's simple. I can pick this doll up and I can put it wherever I like. Wow, Leo, you're amazing! <sighs> hmm, looks like I'll need a bigger spanner. 
Hi, Roland. Hi, Bob. I've got bad news. Uh, the weather forecast says there's a giant snowstorm on the way. Oh, dear. That means more snow on the roads. Exactly. It's going to take my delivery vans a lot longer to get the gifts to my customers. So now I need everything ready by 7 o'clock this evening. Don't worry, Roland. We'll have it all up and running in time. You probably shouldn't be doing that without using the manual. It's all right, Lofty. I know all about robotics. Look, I'm making Rudolph fly. Come in, Leo. Come in, Leo. Oh, hi, Bob. Listen, there's a storm coming. We need to have the picking system up and running by this evening. Really? OK. I need you back here quick. Oh, uh, can you bring my 32 mil spanner? Sure thing. Great. Thanks, Leo. Look! I'm a robot picker arm! No, you're not. Look at me! OK, that's enough fun, you two. We need to get back to work. I'm switching it off. But you've jumbled up all the toys, Leo. They're all in the wrong places. Uh... That's OK. I'll put them back. Okay, so this teddy here is back here on the teddy shelf. Oh no, there's a skateboard and a jigsaw on the teddy shelf. Where is the skateboard shelf? Oh no, where is the jigsaw shelf? Uh... What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'm just a tiny bit confused. Oh no. Why don't you press the undo button a few times? That's a good idea, Scoop. Oh, I think it's broken up. Ah! Uh oh, this is very bad. Does ah! 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 maybe he's enjoying it? I've never seen Leo move so quickly. Come on, Leo, where are you? I need that spanner. Ah, there you are! Have you got my... ...spanner? Uh, no, because the robot arm's got... Me. It's all right. I'll get you out. Oh, dear. My robotic picking system. It's not responding. Oh, no. I should have never touched it. I am so sorry. Can it be reprogrammed, Roland? Yes, but that's going to take ages. I will never get all the toys into the delivery vans by the end of the day now. Oh, I've ruined Christmas. We'll figure something out. Come on, Robot Picker Arm, get to work! Hey, what if we all pretended to be the Robot Picker Arms? Maybe we could get all the gifts in the vans. That is a great idea, Leo. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. All the toys off to be delivered. We did it, team! Yay! And I've managed to fix the picking system, too. Thank you so much, Bob. But, Roland, look. We've missed one of the gifts. Oh, someone's not going to get their Christmas present. Oh, yes, they are. 
because this is an early Christmas present from me to Leo. Oh, wow. Thanks. You can open it now. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's the manual for the robots. Yeah, I've read it. I thought you might like to as well. What do you say, Leo? Uh, can I swap it for the reindeer? Ah, so, this is all we need for the Spring City Christmas display? Yes, everything else is on site. Then let's go! I can't wait to get building! Yeah, Christmas displays are the best! <laughs> OK, OK, we're going! Lofty, we're leaving! Don't be too long! There. The decorations are finished. Oh, I do love Christmas. Oh, decorations everywhere. <gasps> Except at Bob's. Now I know what Christmas present to give Bob. Oh, but first, I'll have to help him with the display. Then it's back here to sort out Bob's present. Oh, I can't wait. So are the display presents. And the laser beams, too. Bob, is the base for the tree ready? Yep. Everything is ready to create the display. All we need now is the Christmas tree. Oh, where is the Christmas tree? I've got rather a large one here. The mayor is switching on the tree lights this evening. So, can we build it? Yes, we can! No, Safi. It's for Bob. And I cannot wait to give it to him. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! Right, Lofty. Bob and Leo are preparing the snow machines, so can you help me hang the tree lights? Of course. Uh, oh, um, I'll just put this present down first. Did you hear that? There's going to be snow machines! Oh, wow! <laughs> Bob's present will be safe here, away from all the tools. Let's put the presents here, and then we can arrange them into a nice display around the tree. OK, Scoop. How are you getting on, Leo? Well, you said to prepare the snow, but I can't find any. Did it come in bags or ice packets? Oh, no! What if it's melted? <laughs> Leo, we're going to use pretend snow. And we're going to make it in those machines. Wow! Can you show me, Bob? Uh, maybe after you tidy up these boxes. The tree lights are going to look great, Wendy. Well, let's test them and see. <gasps> oh. Hey, Wendy, I'm about to start making the snow. Can you help me carry the bottles of fluid? Sure. I'm all finished here. Bob is here and the tree lights are twinkling. This is the perfect time to give him his Christmas present. Oh, oh. Lofty. Oh. You're ruining the display. But I'm trying to find... it. Oh, where is it? 
Oh, never mind. Bob's gone. I'll find it later. Come on, Mark, let's finish the display. Is there snow yet? Not yet. Once the fluid is in, the machines need to be switched on. Oh, then is there snow? Not quite. The machines churn up the fluid to make tiny white bubbles that stick together, and that makes the pretend snow. All done. Do you two want to go down and watch the snow fall over the tree? Woohoo! I'm gonna see it snow! <laughs> I think that's a yes from Leo. The display is almost finished and I've still not given Bob his present. We're gonna test the snow machines. Are you coming to watch? Oh yeah, sure am. Definitely. Um, I'll be there in a minute. Oh, lovely, please don't mess up the display again. I won't. I'd love to give Bob his Christmas present when it's actually snowing. Slowly and gently. Right, new plan. Give it one big. Uh oh. Again. Okay, Wendy, make it snow in three, two, Tim. Right now! That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? <gasps> the display! It's ruined! Oh, dear. What a mess! What happened, Lofty? I was trying to give you this present, but I didn't pay attention to what I was doing. Now I've spoiled everyone's Christmas. I'm sorry, Bob. Thank you, Lofty. My own Christmas decoration. Just like the ones on your shed. That's it. We can fix the display by covering it with snowflakes, like the ones on the sheds. And we can do it by using the broken ice tiles. And I know where we can hang this. Come on, Lofty, let's give Spring City a Christmas display to remember. It gives me great pleasure to switch on Spring City's Christmas display in three, two, one. Ooh. Merry Christmas, 
everyone! Merry Christmas! That's it then. Everything is done for the Christmas holidays. So, Bob, you've wrapped all your presents, made the pudding, and written all your Christmas cards. Um. Oh, Bob, you do this every year. Okay, team. Are you ready to finish building Spring City's new footbridge? Yeah! What's next, Bob? Well, we've already completed stage one, which was building the foundations and putting in place the piers that the bridge is going to sit on. Next is stage two, and we're going to build this section called the spa. Then we build out the deck of the bridge one chunk at a time, and to make it strong, we support each section with a cable attached to the spa. We need to have it ready for everybody to get to work and school on Monday morning. So, can we build it? Yes, we can! What are you two doing so close to the edge? I get nervous close to water. Leo says there are fish in the river coil. I don't believe him. Oh, but there are. This is the spot where I caught a really big fish. Really big? Yep, with a gigantic mouth full of ugly teeth and spikes down its back. Yuck! I think we should go back to the bridge. Uh, Bob and Wendy have almost finished the painting. Sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight. Hey, oh, ah, Bob. Hello, Mr. Bentley. Hello, Mr. Bentley. What are you doing with that measuring wheel? Oh, uh, it's the Spring City Quarter Marathon tomorrow, and I'm measuring the course. What's a quarter marathon? It's a six and a half mile long running race. Six and a half miles plus 88 yards to be exact, which means the finishing line is going to be 20 yards further on from this mark. In the river? No, Leo, on the bridge. Mayor Madison wants the finishing line on the new bridge. But the race is tomorrow morning. The bridge won't be ready. There's got to be a bridge, Wendy, or all the runners will have to stop running and start swimming. If we work hard, I think we can build it in time. Excellent, because the mayor wants the winner to officially open the bridge when they cross the line. Well, we better start work on the bridge deck then. Come on, team. section of the bridge deck in place. Looking good, Wendy. OK, Leo, you can start tightening the cable. Sure thing, Bob. <laughs> well done, Leo. The cable is supporting the bridge deck now. Thanks, Lofty. You can let go now. Shall I go and get the fourth section now? Yes, please, Lofty. And can you find out where Scoop is? He's supposed to be bringing us more cable. Right out. <laughs> Scoop? Ah! What are you staring at? Oh, hello, Lofty. Um, I'm looking at the river. Leo's been trying to frighten me with stories about fish being in there. But fish do live in rivers. Maybe in the countryside, but not in a big city river like the River Coil. I don't think Leo would make it up. Well, once I've delivered this cable to Bob, I'm going to take another look. Just to make sure. Ooh. More cable coming up! I got the next piece of deck for you, Bob. Thanks, Lofty. Can you take it to the end of the bridge, please? Okay. <sighs> Lofty.
Daddy, will you be all right to wait here while Bob, Leo and I get a drink of water? Sure thing, Wendy. No problem. Thanks, Lofty. Hey, Lofty! There aren't any fish at all! Be careful of the water, Scoop. I'm not afraid of water. Look! Oh! Oh, it's water! Oh, no! Oh! Uh-oh! What is it? I think there's something in my rear bucket. Oh. It's a fish. Leo was right all along. Is it a big one with a gigantic mouth full of ugly teeth and spikes down its back? Well, I don't like to be rude. But yes. Ah! Help me! Lovely! Help me! Looks like we'll finish the bridge just in time for the race. Who do you think's gonna win? I don't know, but Sky Samson wins it most years. <laughs> Come on, let's get back to work, or there'll be no bridge to run across at all. Whoa! Oh! Oh! <gasps> Watch out, Scoop! Slow down! Whoa! Oh, thank goodness it's gone. What's going on? Oh, I'm going to fall in! Help! It's okay, Lofty. You're not going to fall. Stay calm. Slowly drive forwards. the ground, Bob. What are we going to do? It's a shame we can't just reel him in like a fish. Hang on a minute. That gives me an idea. Lofty, don't move. Just do exactly what I say. Mm-hmm. Scoop, come forward really slowly so that your front bucket is below Lofty's hook. Uh-huh. Lofty, let your hook drop so Scoop can carry it. Wendy, Leo, go with Scoop and attach Lofty's hook to the base of the spar. Help! You'll be fine, Lofty. Ready, Bob! OK. Stand back now. Now, Lofty, start pulling your hook in really slowly. Ooh. That's it. You're doing fine. And now, drive forward. Very gently. <laughs> yeah! Well done, Lofty. Thank you, Bob. I'm sorry, Lofty. I shouldn't have been messing about by the river. I put Lofty in danger and we've lost part of the bridge. The race will be ruined now. Don't worry, Scoop. You helped put things right, too. Did I? Yes. You said we should reel Lofty in like a fish and that's exactly what we did. Except Lofty hasn't got ugly teeth and spikes down his back. <laughs> we'll get the bridge finished in time if we all work together. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! to the Spring City Quarter Marathon. The winner will receive this trophy and have the honour of opening our brand new footbridge. Good luck, everyone. On your marks. But I haven't given Sky Sampson her official race number yet. Oh, there's no time for that now. On your marks. Get set. Go. Uh, oh. 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 Come on, let's get back to the bridge. I want to see who wins. See you at the finishing line. Oh. Oh, no. I've still got Sky's race number. Wait for me. The bridge looks in great shape. 
As does Sky Samson. Look, she's well out in front. Someone's catching her up, though. Oh, 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 Sky, here is your race number. Ah! Oh, whoa! Ah. Oh, what a relief. Mr. Bentley, you've just gone and beaten Sky Samson. You've won the race. Me? <laughs> oh dear, I really don't know what to say, Mayor Madison. How about I now declare this bridge open? <laughs> <laughs>